So people ask me how I can get so much range out of these FPV systems, um, typically two kilometers out of the 500 meg or 5.8 gigahertz system with a 200 milliwatt transmitter and I've just done a 1.7 kilometer flight with a 900 megahertz transmitter and this is the secret you see this pole here which is uh, very carefully crafted notice how high the pole is it puts our antenna way up here at the top in fact it puts the whole receiver up there way at the top of this pole so it gives maximum range given the antennas and so forth that we're using so the key is get yourself a nice long pole and put your receiver up the top Run the uh, wires down so you can have your batteries and everything and your goggles and all that sort of hanging off this pole and uh, you'll get much better range than if you just have one of the uh, antennas in a receiver on your goggles themselves or if you have your antenna near a ground level. And to give you a better idea of just how high that pole is, there it is, you can see it next to this hanger. Sorry about the wind noise, I don't have my lapel mic on or a windbreak. But there you go, see that pole there is probably a good, well it's wrong, probably nearly two meters so it's got to be a good four meters to the top of the aerial that makes all the difference in the world and if you want to have sort of a hands-free wander around you can use a 900 megahertz or a 1.3 or a 2.4 system between your plane and the antenna and then feed the output of that into a 5.8 gigahertz system to relay the signal to your fat sharks or your fox tech goggles with the built-in receiver very simple you can still then wander around freely unencumbered by wires however i prefer just to plug my fat sharks into the leads and stand near the pole works for me that's one of the tips for getting long range out of off-the-shelf fpv equipment